it's your turn to be a biology detective. Have a piece of paper ready to take notes during the presentation. Scientists use their senses to learn. Scientists also use the scientific method. First, they ask questions. Then, they research. After that, they construct a hypothesis. They test with experiments. They analyze their results and determine whether the hypothesis was true or false. If false, they start over again. living things are organisms. Organisms grow, reproduce, need food, air, and water, and have life cycles. Living relatives may have looked like this. All living things live in habitats. Here are some examples of animal habitat. Animals and plants are classified according to their physical characteristics. Photosynthesis is the process that feeds plants. Pollination is the way plants reproduce. Animals have life cycles. This is the life cycle of the panda bear. The butterfly's life cycle, the frog's life cycle, and the chicken's life cycle. Animals meet some of their needs in the environment by using behaviors in response to information received. Some animal behaviors are instinctive. Instinctive means natural, unthinking, prompted by instinct. For example, the proboscis monkey has an instinct to swim. However, it has to learn to avoid crocodiles in order to survive. Humans instinctively use their voice to communicate, but in order to speak, they must learn their language. Dolphins instinctively know how to swim, but trainers at an aquarium can teach them to swim certain ways or do tricks on command. Many young animals, such as wolf and dog pups and lion kits, are born with an instinct for rough play with their siblings. But some may learn the hard way not to play rough with a larger adult of the species. Organisms can cause changes in their environment, like this beaver dam. We inherit characteristics from our birth parents. Plants inherit characteristics also. Some inherited characteristics are fully inherited, like eye color. Some traits occur because of the environment. Organisms develop traits in response to their environment. All animals live in habitats. Habitats provide food, water, and shelter, which animals need to survive. Physical adaptations do not develop during an animal's life, but over many generations. Here are some differences in animal features. Each one of these features is created to help an animal survive. In the next couple days, prepare for our first investigation. 